Okay, friends, today we are going to learn about the learning experience design. As you can see on your screen, there are three levels of um, preparing your learning experience. One is the before teaching learning experience, during teaching and after teaching. So please remember that when you are thinking about the learning experience, it is three level learning experience. So when uh, you look at before teaching, you have your teaching goals that comes from directly from the content. Uh, you have your teaching goals. Uh, it tells you what you have to teach. That is a teaching goals. So you can lay down your teaching goals depending upon the content that you are teaching. You also have to have uh, the uh, knowledge of the learners uh, with you. That is in your class, what kind of learners do you have? So you need to assess their learner profiles. The learner profile consists of a variety of things. It could consist of factual information. Where do they stay? What was their educational background? What is their parental background? And um, what are the, their interests? So these are certain things that uh, would be there in the learner profile. But other than that, related to the topic you are teaching, what is the entry knowledge for the topic? So therefore, a pre-test plan, which uh, consists of certain questions related to the topic that you are teaching, is known as the pre-test plan. That could be given to the students to understand their level of motivation for that particular topic as well as the level of achievement for the particular topic. Uh, and you can also in this uh, note down any special instructions or prerequisites required for your session for that lesson. After which you need to prepare your learning objectives. And um, these objectives are of different levels, uh, mostly related to the Bloom's taxonomy. But see that you have all the three levels of objectives, the cognitive, the affective, and the psychomotor. Each lesson should have all the three levels of objectives where the child knows, where the child understands um, the feelings and uh, the emotions and appreciates the topic. So that would be the effective level and the psychomotor that is the doing part where the child does something. Uh, following the learning objectives are the learning specifications, which are the, uh, again of the three level, cognitive, effective and psychomotor, where the child understands uh, what is to be uh, learned in that particular topic. Okay, the next thing we go to the teaching setting. The teaching setting is the place where you are actually going to teach. So the teaching setting is the physical infrastructure or like, you know, for example, if you need to do some experimentation, do you have a teaching setting for that? So you have to prepare your physical infrastructure uh, and also cater to the learning, learner diversity. You know, if you need to have a certain uh, group activities, so are you going to have the same teaching setting? You need to modify your teaching setting for the learner diversity. The next comes is the learning resources. Uh, you need to plan for your learning resources. What kind of learning resources are you going to use? So a learning resource could be a chart, it could be a worksheet, it could be a picture, it could be a map, it could be some uh, material which the child has to go through. So uh, it could be an open educational resource, it could be a self-learning material, digital resources are available, also reference books. So all this can be uh, in the teaching learning resources. Now, before uh, you also start your teaching, you can also develop your rubrics, which uh, the child can understand that, you know, how the child is going to move in your evaluation. Rubrics can be developed before for your assessment. And um, these are different strategies you need to develop your teaching strategy. What will be the learning strategy of the student once you have taught the subject? 
what would be the enrichment strategy for that particular topic what would be the differential treatment strategy all the children in the class are not the same all the students are not the same so what is a differential treatment strategy you are going to use what is the assessment strategy what is the feedback strategy that you are going to use for this topic then we come to the next one uh, next stage that is during the teaching see now during the teaching is the main um, uh, part of your teaching that is you go to the class and you actually teach the topic and it is not going to be teacher centered it's going to be student centered therefore i have put down so many activities here you can use these different uh, activities like group task you can have an individual task you can have an online experience you can have reflective or meta cognitive tasks you can have individualized pl education plan for special children you can have field visit or industrial visits if any you can uh, also give assignments and projects when you are in the class now you can also have many other things like experimentation you can have certain uh, skill development activities so all this depends upon the topic that you have in hand then after the class what do you do after teaching what do you do you have to provide certain support services uh, which would be need based now these support services are known as diagnostic and remedial measures that is you know you find out what are the weakness of the students and accordingly you uh, give them the support enrichment support for gifted learners suppose uh, there are gifted learners in your class you need to give them some enrichment activities you know so there that is called as enrichment support for gifted learners you need to fi find out certain like for example if it is mathematics then you give them some uh, difficult problems to solve uh, also you need to give uh, the whole class some kind of enrichment where they read something more than what is taught in the class or what is mentioned in your syllabus mentoring and counseling support need to be provided you need to mentor each and every student uh, towards the achievement of the learning achievement and uh, counseling if there is any professional help required then you need to provide uh, that also self reflection by the teacher and the students is very important uh, special observations if any you need to note down and also if required there could be a parental intervention now this does not get over without a feedback okay you need to obtain a feedback from the students okay and you need to also assess their learning outcomes so here i have put down the word learning outcomes you need to assess the students and you need to have a feedback from the students as to how was this learning experience for that particular topic that was provided uh, to the students so this is the learning experience design for you and you have to use it in your class whenever you go for teaching you have to remember that these are the things before teaching during teaching as well as after teaching that we have to do most of the time we only concentrate on during teaching and that also most of the teachers will go for the lecture method so lecture method is not acceptable for all levels of teaching there should be some activity some task given to them so that they experience their learning okay it becomes an experiential learning so um, this is the learning design uh, learning experience design that i would like to present to you thank you